fish got away yesterday, but it's rough. This is just right out there. It's gonna be rough for the ride home because we gotta go that way. But hang on, we'll see what happens. Mike's back. All sun, baby Lee's not here. We're going to ship back there. fish we've caught in two days. We didn't catch nothing yesterday. The day before we got three sores, but that's old news when it comes to fishing. Nothing yesterday. Yeah, and we weren't on the boat that day, so that's, that's true. They weren't here. They said, oh, when's the good time to go? Well, yesterday we got three, but uh, we got a mahi on that. It'll be fresh bait and a little snack too. It's windy and rough. And it's supposed to get windier and rougher. I told them no fish, no pay. We get this thing on the boat here. We're guaranteed to get paid today. It's the name of the boat. Yeah, it should be. Else I'm just kidding. I don't go by that. Right. We can try to catch swordfish. There's no guarantee you're ever going to get them. It's an obstacle course. Oh, boom. Oh, boy. Oh, 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 this guy's catching them all, huh? Oh, we doubled up. We're doubled up. We're doubled up. Up. Is that one up? All right, we're almost at the swordfish grounds, guys. It's blowing 20 to 22 knots, supposed to go 20 to 25 this afternoon. Might be a gaffer, huh? Yeah, I mean, come on. Look at my meter in town. He's big, big enough to get, probably. Just do short pump. Just go about right there and now reel down. Yeah, you got him right in the belly. Old foul hook mahi. Make him seem twice as big. Swordfish rods are set. We got one here. Our swordfish rod with the pen hooker electric. We got a buoy rod out there. Our second one's out there floating. It's hard to see because it's rough. We just threw a bait out here and a mahi just was there right by the boat. Mike threw it on his head. Horseshoe Harry. Hopefully catch it. Why do they call you Horseshoe Harry? Because I'm unlucky. You're unlucky? All right, Harry, don't lose that fish. We're in the big seas today, folks. It was rough getting here. It's going to be a lot rougher going home. We need a miracle, we need to catch something. No, we don't need a miracle today. What do we need? Can you drop this off at the Pier 1 house? <laughs> they want us to drop them off at Key West on the way home there. When we swordfish, you guys are watching this rod. You just sit out here for hours and hours watching it, looking for a bite. And all a bite looks like, I'm going to show you this what a bite looks like. If a swordfish hits the bait, all it does is something like that. Oh, there's a mine there. But just be a little tiny bounce, and that's him whacking with his bill. Look at this mine right here. Where aren't you? Yeah, we're going to Look at that thing. Look at the colors out there. That one almost got away, you guys. Hook come out right on the edge of the boat. We got him. That's why they call him Horseshoe Harry. Yeah. So he's got a little bit of luck. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're gonna. I really know the reason why. All right, then I can tell us the rotors over. Now we're gonna watch this rod tip for hours, and hopefully we get a bite. Thank you. 
Turtle. It's really windy, you guys. 20 to 20, 25 knots right now. We all just took a big wave on this side. We're all soaking wet. Everyone got wet there. Mike got wet. Thompson got wet. Yeah. Welcome to the high seas. We have no swords or spikes yet. We've got three mahis in here. Seaweed keeps blowing into the boat from the ocean. That's another boat here. Ooh, it's windy. This is part of it. We didn't get a good gesture, so let's go try a different area today. I knew it was a little rougher. Here's your 111 update. Right there. We're finally hooked up. Mike was secretive. He saw a bite, didn't tell us. And he's on there for the time being swimming the bait up. It's rough. We're hoping the hook stays. Sometimes when it's rough, the hook pulls out. We're gonna have a heck of a ride going home because we gotta go that direction. It is rough out here, folks. It's no joke today. But for the time being, we are hooked up. Here's the light. Yeah, keep coming. Came up. It's rough, we lost them. Oh yeah, big ones out here now. Oh yeah. We caught no fish. Three, three mahi. We lost a swordfish. It's rough. We're gonna take it going home. We're gonna work hey, our way no, in. No, 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 no. Turn the boat the other way. Oh, you're here really well. No, 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 no. Hey, Gary, hurry hey. up with him. <laughs> He's gonna get really wet there. We better get the wings up. We'll show you a few minutes of the ride home. Man, Merry you. Christmas. Man, a few words. Oh, uh, yeah, we have to run into that. This is not gonna be fun. Jesus, look at the lean you just put in this chair. Oh my god, he just broke He was upset we only put curtains on one side. But I think there's only one wet side. And it's this side. Oh, here we go. Are you gonna try to get the seat back in here? Let's see what happens, folks. Oh yeah. Jump right down that hole. Oh yeah. Oh, here we go, folks. Oh, my shoes are wet now. Oh, yeah. We're opening the ballast tank. Uh, you got to tell him. Well, you're not trusting, he's going to do it. He said in the Kobe, they don't have to do this. You don't. I'm crawling already. I'm getting those funny ideas. Ugh. More weight to the bow. <laughs> this bill's pump is stuck on. Good. What's stuck on? You need help? The bilge pump's stuck. You need help. Oh, we gotta clean, we gotta fix it. Right here, click him back here. Yeah. Uh, which which bilge pump? Right here? This one in here, yeah. Is it cool? Um, the float switch is stuck up. Pretty much it's helpless. So, the float switch is stuck up. My pants are soaking wet now. And I bet there's a... I ain't doing this. Hurry up and finish your pizza. <laughs> I it's think there's a pizza. I think there's a piece of foam underneath the float switch, and it's holding the float switch up so the pump is running. Where's oh the, yeah. Where's the uh, pump at? Front, back, in there. We have to move all the leads and all that other stuff. It's a good job for a 27 year old who looks 40. Let's go, Abner. Whoa. What was that? Oh, is that yours, David? Yeah, I saw that back for 100 bucks. Grab that too. <laughs> This is getting an expensive ride home. Yeah, it is. Fall out of your pocket? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a heavy lead bucket right there. So we got the boat going down. It's going to make it a little easier, but. The float switch is stuck up, so the bilge pump is running. We don't want to build a burn the bilge pump up, so we gotta fix this. Anything underneath it? Yeah. 
Huh? The culprit. The culprit. He's still stuck on though, huh? Yeah. Oh. Piece of foam was the culprit. That little piece of foam was held the float up, so the pump turns on automatically, and it's rough. And you get little pieces of foam like that sometimes in the boat when you break it loose. And today's a good day to shake things loose. Oh, the ride home is gonna be tough. No swordfish in two days. Luckily, we had a really good day though, two days ago, but with different customers. But that's fishing. Don't always get them. That little thing right there. Where's that from? The hull. We just want to document a few minutes of the ride in case we don't make it home. Hey, on the bright side, the bills is dry. It's true. It is true. All right. It's a little busy, but we'll be all right. Everybody, hold on to your horses. 38.2 miles to go. Oh, not bad. Oh, that's easy. like here for there in five minutes. Just got there. We'll see you back in the dock here, guys. Whew. If we make it. If we make it. Looks like the horseshoe might have run out for Horseshoe Harry. Yeah. Horseshoe, horseshoe Harry's out. <laughs>
It's a long shank VMC hook there, you guys. Good hook for Mahi. Remember John, you fished one a long time ago. Do we catch more fish when I went or today? More. A lot more with Mike. Give me Jimmy. We made it back, it was rough. We're gonna know we went there today. No swordfish two days with John. That's fishing though. Horseshoe Harry's horseshoe ran out. We used it last year, not big fish, but we're gonna cut up some mahi here. Nice to hit some more mahis on the way home. Got some fresh bait there, we got dinner, we got the bean right there. You definitely caught more fish when I was on the boat, right? You been watching mine? Isn't it so hard to go back to watching Stan Sam after watching the quality of mine? We're gonna do some mahi teriyaki on the new grill. I haven't done it in a while, but we got the very, very teriyaki. Very, very, maybe, I said it wrong. But uh, Charlie recommended that. He said it's like the best one around. So you guys get to see a couple videos with him. And we got more videos coming together this summer with him too, but anyhow, we're gonna marinate that. We got some couscous going in there. Sarah's out with her girlfriends at the new sushi place in town, apparently. I don't know where it's at, cause I'm not a big sushi fan, but let's get cooking, you guys. We're gonna see what the girls think of, and uh, maybe we'll feed Daniel too if he's still here. Well, we haven't picked out a new name yet for the grill, but we appreciate all the comments in the video uh, before this one, or maybe two before this one. We got it at 400 degrees, simple teriyaki marinade. When mama's gone, I'm cooking simple here. This will be our first time cooking mahi on the new grill. We cooked some tuna on there, that was absolutely delicious. And, uh, you know, we're, we're enjoying it, so. 400 degrees. Oh yeah, listen to a sizzle. There we go. We'll get all this on there and then uh, probably drizzle the rest of the sauce on top and we flip it. We should be good to go. There we go. We'll check back in about two or three minutes and flip it probably. Time to flip it. It's getting close to being done. We're just gonna flip it and probably cook one more minute. It's already flaking, so. The old grill smoked a lot. This thing is super smoky, but I love that because it gives it actually a nice smoke flavor. Whew, I think it will smoke you out of the house. Just one more minute there. You can see it flaking already, so it's pretty much already done. We'll just give it literally like a minute on that side. We're gonna go eat that with some couscous, feed the girls, and Daniel. Oh, we got it done now. I wish you guys could smell it. It smells delicious. Our neighbors can smell it. There they are. They want the food, they're yelling at me. Let's get on a plate now, though. Oh, mahi teriyaki style. Very, very sauce. Eat the mahi, sweetie. Let us know what you think. Go for it. Mm. Now we're talking. Fresh mahi mahi off the grill. There you go, sweetie. The kids approve it. Now it's my turn to try it. It's getting to be mahi season now, you know. It's April. 21st, 22nd, something like that, maybe right now, I don't know. April 21st, I think. So we caught this mahi yesterday. It was really rough there with John and his buddies. We didn't get any swordfish in two days. It was hard fishing. We lost Wednesday, you know, the Monday before we got those three. 
But every day is different. And there's no guarantees. And a swordfish isn't like a guaranteed fish to catch anytime you got there. Sadie wants orange juice. Let me get the orange juice. That's delicious. It's not bad, right? No, that's super sweet and like pungent. There you go. Yeah. And it's like tender and juicy too. And I'm lucky I didn't dry it out. This might be one of my favorites, honestly, that I've had from you. <laughs> there you go. So either that means it's really good or my other cooking wasn't that good. <laughs> and it could be a little bit of both. So he's probably had some dried out stuff, but the dolphin honestly is super moist, you guys, and didn't dry out. Got a nice crisp edge on it there. I should have made more. This ain't gonna last, yeah. I didn't know I had to feed him, but he's over here. <laughs> I come we're, over here for the food. We're out of food though now. <laughs> Just like he said, very moist, very sweet, great edge on it. So that's all we got for you guys. If you guys want any merch, want this banana swordfish shirt, head over to the website, stansfishing.com. Got some more designs on there too. That's all I got for you, so. Claire's licking her plate clean. She's making a mess. Sadie, how'd you do? Did you eat most of it? There you go, you must the way down here, over halfway. That's what we got for you. So hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. Come on down here to Bud and Mary's, check it out. Whether you go fishing with me or in a different boat there, there's like 45 boats there. And there's a dozen lodging options between house boats, small houses, and hotel rooms. So hope you guys make it down here. And uh, we'll see y'all next time. Daniel's gonna be done in about 2.1 minutes. <laughs> it's gonna have taken long. Sadie, Daniel ate your leftovers. Is it okay? It's okay, huh? Did you like it? That answers that. <laughs> all right, you guys, we'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Claire, why are you so loud? You're making a mess. She's like a little bulldozer. Dancing machine.